Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Lico Weekly Contest 385. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem, today's contest, everything in between. Um, hopefully, um, this contest will go a little contest where I made a couple of silly mistakes, including uh, ones given by uh, ChatGPT. But, uh, you know. Leak code and Python, they really choose their bounds in a way that are not Python friendly. So we'll see how that goes. But um but yeah. Anyway, yeah, these this is a live recording, so definitely if you want to check out each problems video, definitely do that. Thanks for your support. Always appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did in this contest. But uh but yeah, I mean, you know, let's just go, let's just do it and let's just have some fun. I think I have like a really bad streak of waiting going down but uh eh, it's just waiting so let's just have fun now let's go 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 Ooh, a little bit slow on this clicking all right let's go no this is a part one part yeah so there's a two part thing okay this is going to be another string problem, isn't it? Yeah. Right. What if they're exactly the same? Are they unique? Mm. Oh, I is less than J. Okay, well. Or two, maybe, or two. Did I miss the. Oh, why do I have a thing here? That's why. Oh, because there was an if statement. But... Uh, let's go. Find the length of the longest common prefix. <sighs> what does this mean? The big numbers? Okay. No, this is bigger than that. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit input that kind of dumb, but okay, fine.
Seems pretty straightforward, but it's a little bit awkward. Okay, hit six. Not to do a shift, right? Six digits is what a million? Yeah, okay. I do it in price fire. Let's go. I forgot how to do it in, in Python. Oh, I'll range. Whoops. That's not the same. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so that actually works. I suppose. I'm just being dumb. I didn't even read the other message. Okay, fine. Okay, that's good. And now we just kind of, you know. I got a few of half templates for the prime stuff, but that's just fine, I guess. Right, is this even right? Two, three, five, seven, eleven. Okay, fine. Um, Why 
last night. Okay. Um, okay. Most frequent, or this multiple, largest multiple. Okay. Forty-seven. So that's good that I got it well. Forty-seven twice. Why? It's probably not right, right? Cards at four seven one two. Did you win? Why do I have that twice? Hmm. Do I have this one? I do have this one. Oh, uh, why do I have this one? Because I have this one. Uh, that's a very lucky debug, actually. I don't know that this is an easy iPod to make. I wrote that in a really weird way. Um, let's print it out real quick. Since I'm already kind of making silly mistakes. Alright. 19, negative 1, 47. Okay, let's run it one more time. Okay, submit. Alright. <coughs> I mean, doing okay time, but not amazing time. Uh, let's see. All right. This is just like C is the uh, function thing again. Um, Is it just that though? No, because it's n square, right? You can't do n square lately, even if you do the comparison fast. Okay. So then it is um, for i for j. So for j, we do all the i's maybe. No, that's a little bit. No, no, no. no. So for, if we process i, then we have to do all the j's, right? So basically, we just need to try for the J's. Uh, do we want to try? Hmm. How do we check this? 
think about it. 18 people got it right, so it's not super bad, but what do we pre-process each string? Well, if it's prefix and suffix, that means that when it's C algorithm kind of way, um, can, hashing is probably still the easiest, but I think we probably just hash, right? Hash the all possible prefix, all possible suffix. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, it's annoying to code, is it? So many uh, so many of these late. Okay, well, let's do it that way then. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to do an anti hack thing, that's why I'm like, um, yeah. Uh, 20 digit primes, alright, I'm just Googling 20 digit primes. Um, let me just go. Okay. This is stupid. I am doing a stupid thing. This is stupid. Oh, well, this is definitely stupid. I'm doing the same number. But, all right. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do a how to do thing. Right. Doesn't even have to be a prime, right? It's just a bit more confusing. Um, uh, Python random item. I forget what the random item is. Random dot choice. And then I also want. Go way fast. I, maybe there's a smarter way to do it. Uh, it's still, there are a lot of like random n squared type. Thing. Oh, I missed this part actually. Oh, fudge. I missed this part. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier. 
maybe. I don't know. Well. Basically, now that the calculate the prefix, okay, fine. Um, yeah, okay, fine. You want to do, okay, so the prefix. want to do something like this right? Do something like that and then prefix compared to the suffix. Oh, wait, let's just I guess prefix actually just gets. I'm very slow today. Well, but then now how do I do the suffix? Okay. That's the thing, right? So then now Do shift and add. So it's just something like is this times. Of base to offset mod. So for
Okay. So we're like tight maybe. Hmm, that's not right. But we're gonna try. Maybe. <laughs> There should be one. Why is this wrong? P sub i. Oh, why is this i? This should be an enumerated. Okay, that's good. 420. Okay. Um, let's just stress test this real quick. Fast enough? Uh, maybe this isn't fast enough. <laughs> well, this maybe is not fast enough, but okay, fine. Well, we'll just say. So maybe that's too much. Alright, time out already, please. Please, sir. Alright, well, looks okay. Let's do the silly trick for Q1. I should have had it up there. Four two zero is the input. All right, so let's give it a spin. Please, no timeout. Okay. <sighs> I mean, I was taking my time on this one, but Um, oh, I forgot that I'm still recording. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a good result. Um, probably could have been a little bit faster on Q4. I, I think one, uh, well, I mean, the two things. One is that I'm trying to be a little bit careful about it, but oh, I think I should have, I don't know, this is already a mod. I was going to say maybe I need to mod this, but I guess I kind of do it already. Um, I I was probably just, to be honest, I, uh, I think I got let that Z, Z function in my head a little bit. I was trying my very best to spend, to try to think about how to do it with Z function, and I don't know how to do it, to be honest. Um, that's why I kind of did the hashing thing. I maybe could have done, no, I, I was also thinking about using a try. I Actually, to be honest, maybe you could have done it with Z function, but because I, I forgot about this part. Um, I think once I realized that this part was a thing, then it became maybe easier. I wouldn't say easier, but just I was... I don't know, I just didn't do the math with the function with respect to that because then you have to sum the hashes and in theory the sum of the hashes can still be n squared but technically speaking Python in this case n squared strings is actually not that slow but, uh, but I didn't really want to think about it and then hashing the strings it's a little bit tight for sure to be honest but um, but I, yeah and I probably should have done it this way I mean I knew how to do it this way almost immediately but I was just kind of, I mean, I spent some time kind of making it a little bit more anti-hackable, but everything else, I kind of had to redo the math from scratch a little bit. It was just not that bad, to be honest, but, but I was just, um, yeah, um, maybe I could, I mean, I also kept done this code currently as well, but I just, I want to risk it, I suppose. What is my running time here? Just want to make sure that they're within, because maybe I have to do some optimization. No, this is fine. And I even did the, the trick about going back to Q1. Um, that was, I didn't think it was going to time out on that one, but yeah. Uh, I really did take my time. I don't know. Q4, I probably, 
could have, should have done it faster. I wonder how people did it. I mean, did it. And did it quickly. Um, maybe I'll so uh, upsolve it that way just for a sec. Uh, let me actually ask ChatGPT to translate the code for me. Translate this to Python, please. I should have done that last time, to be honest, instead of just doing it myself, because then that's how I kind of messed up. Okay, so let's say we have this Z function, right? Um, and then and then the rest is just pretty straight forward maybe right um i mean the idea is still the same so we could get rid of these things well maybe keep the, i don't know if i need this one actually definitely don't need this or or this stuff right so we just do this and basically the calc is going to be um well, C is equal to Z function of word, right? So now, now basically, um, what is Z function again? Z function is the prefix. I, I don't ever know this one. Um, the longest suffix, right? So basically then, um, okay, N is your length of word, right? Then for I in range of N, basically you want um so if z of n minus i minus one so that's from the n is equal to the length which is i plus one then this is a good thing so then maybe we could have written f of um and this is the part that i wasn't sure about i mean Maybe I'm off by one here, but that's not really important. The F part is that F of um, word of, so this suffix increment by one, right? And then the rest is just whether um, uh, can, we can actually add this by F of word, right? Yeah, is this fast enough? Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Wait, what? I am curious about this. Why would it put zero? Do I not do this? Oh, maybe I don't handle... It is possible that I don't handle the zero case right. Um, so zero, zero. Hmm. So zero... So i is zero, it's gonna be and this is one, so this is zero is equal to Hmm. I actually don't know how to handle that to be honest. I mean maybe it's a special case. I don't know. I don't know how people would handle it. Um I guess just entire word. I guess the entire word is the prefix and the suffix, so um, so we maybe we just do this. I mean, the other thing, I guess I just didn't need to explicitly have it, but just fast enough. Oh, okay. I mean, that's the other thing that I wasn't sure about. That's why I was I didn't know. I mean, maybe we could hash this, but then you know, it's fine, right? Uh, Python hash word. Uh, can we do that? Hmm. Right. So then maybe this is fine. I don't know. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad that I did not need to uh, do this because clearly this would have been a little bit sketch. But like maybe even times out. So okay, so I'm not that sad. I, I thought this something like this could work and I was kind of a little bit worried about it. Um, but yeah, I guess they have good test cases for it. So I'm happy with the way that I did it then. I'm just, I was just curious whether there is something like you know, weird funky thing that I could do. Uh, but yeah, the way that I did it is fine for once. Uh, we'll see where I end up, but uh, 54, not that fast. Okay, yeah, 28. Uh, maybe that, I don't know when this gets updated, but that's fine. I mean, I probably could have been a little bit faster, but 
honestly i i don't i'm fine i don't I wasn't watching. I was trying to. <laughs> I feel like uh, on the bi weekly, I had too many silly mistakes. So I'm trying to cut down silly mistakes. I was. For Q4, I definitely um, slowed it down as a result. Like I did it very slowly, as you saw. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for today. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to come at until health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.